ever dreamed of living in a castle? Well, this fortified stone tower on the top of a mountain might be as close as you're gonna get. Today, we're exploring the keep in Tasmania's northeast. And believe me when I say this is unlike any other home tour you have seen. Let's check it out. of the keep is quite overwhelming, not only because of the simple stone structure itself, but because of its location, we are quite literally on top of a rocky pinnacle in the blue tier, and we are surrounded by these magnificent boulders. So before we go inside, there's a couple of things I wanna first show you. Set into these boulders is this outdoor fire. So this was actually done by a Tasmanian stonemason, Bill Henderson. And if we continue on our stone boulder journey, it will reveal the most epic of bathtubs. I've seen a lot of bathtubs in my time, guys. This may well have to be one of the best. Look at that view. So we have three levels in this tower. The first level is our entry point and you'll start to notice the color that will envelop this home. It's the most beautiful greeny gray tone and it's picked up with those timber accents as well. Beautiful details and touches. So through here we have a separate toilet to the right as well as quite a modern bathroom. And this middle level is dedicated to the bedroom. I love the feeling in here. We've changed tones, so the color on the wall has changed. We've become quite blacked out. I really love it when you encase an entire room in one color. It's created such a moody vibe, but I also love the addition of texture through the wallpaper as well. French linen on the bed, it's all very scrumptious. It's very, very bougie. They have the addition of another living space through here, so you do have space to sit and enjoy that wonderful view. The views continue pretty much in every room of this home. Through here, we also have a special reading nook. As a lover of books, I very much appreciate this space. This is a wonderful position to sit, look at that view and pick a book for the afternoon. It becomes a little bit lighter as you come to this top level and it's gonna get even lighter because let's open these up. It's a very different feeling up here to downstairs in the bedroom. It is much lighter, like I mentioned. It's got a bit more of a classical note. We've got a living space, so the secondary living space. But as well as that, there isn't a TV here in this home. So the entertainment comes in music form, of which I'm very happy about. Quite a good collection there. Definitely a mix. So the kitchen, very classic. I really love this oven. It's got a great sense to it. This is an Airbnb. So very good point about that. It's a very well stocked kitchen because you might have noticed there's not a local shop <laughs> that's easy to get to here. We've got plenty of coffee and not just the coffee. We've got like 16 ways to make coffee. Look at that. 
That's what happens when the owners are coffee lovers and they have a cafe. <laughs> I love that attention to detail. Also this is Tassie Blackwood. So this is a Simon Anchor special. I love that touch. So the hidden bar. For me, I'm not touching the spirits these days. So I'm gonna help myself to a softy. Let's take a closer look at this house, shall we? The word keep means to hold or protect, and traditionally keeps were built as a type of fortified tower by European nobility. They were built within castles during the Middle Ages and used as a refuge or last resort should the rest of the castle fall to enemies. This building does not claim that history, but it was its inspiration. It was built in the mid 2000s and in recent years has opened as luxury accommodation. It's set on 250 acres of private forest and it's extremely isolated. The exterior is hard and rugged, much like the name Keep suggests, and it has been built to withstand cyclonic winds, which are common here. The interiors were recently updated by Belle Hemming Bright and she really focused on introducing colour. Darker heritage notes that amplify a moody interior. The bedroom is probably my favourite level for the way it commits to colour and texture and really invites a cosy heritage feeling. The view from the bed is also sensational, especially in the morning as you capture a terrific sunrise over the northeast coastline. The owners have integrated Tasmanian craftsmen and designers, as well as local timbers and artworks throughout, helping to create quite a uniquely Tasmanian experience. This is quite a hard home to sum up. I mentioned at the start of the walkthrough that it was quite overwhelming, and that is because of the total seclusion that this home offers. And it starts as soon as you arrive on the property and you start that long drive up the mountain. It's both moody and scary at the same time, and it's that intrigue that really gives this home its edge. It's both beautiful yet brutal at the same time. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this home tour. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe. We've got plenty more home tours coming your way.